Hi and welcome to this video where I would like to show how I display pictures on the TMS 9918A uh, with its high resolution graphics mode uh, through my homebrew computer. So what you can see on the display is the homebrew computer outputting a composite video signal to the TV, to the monitor. Um, that's my homebrew here. Uh, the keyboard's not working because you can see there's a terminal here which I will be using to, um, to type and that's just easier than using the keyboard uh, for the purpose of this demonstration. So what do I mean by um, showing graphics? Well I've already got a high resolution mode and I can just go into that um, by typing high res foreground and background colour as a hex number and I can draw lines for example, from top left to bottom right, or I can do circles. Uh, but this high resolution mode, it's nice for drawing lines and circles, but it can also reproduce uh, pictures, but they need converting. So um, what I'll show you is the um, utility that I use to change the uh, to convert a picture so what you can see on the display now is rather than the terminal um, you can see a uh, a utility which is to convert um, bitmap images uh, into something compatible for the TMS 9918 so um, I'm going to load up an image which I showed on a previous video and you'll see what I'm getting at. Um, the utility will load the image and it will start converting it. So you'll first see it in its proper form and now you can see it being converted into a much more grainy uh, bitmap image. And that's what I'm saving as a raw binary file. Um, now, um, by doing that, um, I then need to put it onto the SD card and then load it from there and that's what I'm going to show you now. So on my SD card I have a folder called a data and in there I've got a folder called images image and here's a couple of images um, one's called snowman.vim and the other one's called may4 uh, without an extension I forgot to save it with an extension but they're both the same size and um, I just want to print the hex version of of, uh, of this and then and you'll know why in a moment so I'll explain 14343 three. that's 3807 in hex um, the binary data is 3800 hex so the other seven bytes is just some header information so what I need to do to load this binary image is to strip off the header and then simply load the rest of it into the VDP the TMS 9918A's um, VRAM um, just literally just fill 3800 hex uh, bytes uh, from the, the file so that's what I'm going to do now. I have created a command called vload where I can specify the start address in video memory and I'm starting from zero. And then I can also specify the file name. And then if you watch the screen here, you'll see it loads the bitmap and then the color information straight after it. And now you've got a nice snowman image, which is one that I had used for another demo quite some time ago. Um, now let me just set the color to the back, the border color to black, um, and then it will look much nicer when I load the other image, which is the one that you might have seen in my other recent video, which I did for May the fourth. And there we go. And although it's grainy, 256 by 192 pixels, um, it's it's recognisable. I think um, the restriction that you have with the TMS 9918 is that every pixel can't be a different colour. Um, specifically, each 
group of eight horizontal pixels has to be a single foreground and single background color of your choice um, but it can be changed for 192 rows so basically I've got 32 columns worth of color information horizontally and 192 lines worth of color information um, of course those 32 colors I can have any uh, each column these 32 columns rather I can have um, any eight pixels on and off so in close-up you, you'll be able to see you won't be able to see very easily here but you will be able to see that the you know the color pressure um, is such that you will get uh, some bleeding etc and that's what the utility does it tries to just come up with the best compromise of color constraints um, and, and it looking okay so there we go that's how I did the May the 4th video um, last week uh, not hugely clever but anyway hopefully that makes some sense thank you